So I finally had enough of being in pain all day in my Scarpa Freedom boots from out touring and decided to treat myself to some nice comfy all day touring boots, which on the face of it, these movement performance ultralon boots definitely tick all those boxes. This isn't truly my first outing in them. I've done one pre-dawn ski already, just more work to get a bit of a feel for them. This is my first proper day out using them. So yeah, just let's see how this goes. Oh, and I should add, they're also pretty cheap as well, which is, of course, always a bonus, especially when you're a ski van. But they retail at about 600 Swiss francs, but you can generally pick them up for around 400 euros at the moment, so yeah, pretty good value for money. Definitely compared to a lot of other comparable boots. about the specifications officially according to the movement website they weigh 1200 grams per boot and that's based on the uh, shell size 26 26 and a half one no point so I've got a 28 28 and a half so it's gonna weigh slightly more than that but still it's a very light boot compared to my Scarpa Freedom SLs which are over 1800 grams per boot so yeah it's over 600 grams saving per foot which is a Makes a huge difference when you're doing a really big vertical day. They normally have a stiffness rating of between 90 and 110. I don't know if that means that the stiffness varies depending on the size of the boot, which makes a degree of sense. Of course, you've got more leverage on a bigger boot, therefore likely to be a bit softer. Whether it's just an admission that all stiffness ratings are a bit vague, there's no point trying to give an exact number when it's all fairly arbitrary anyway. But yeah, uh, relatively soft compared to a free tour boot. But I guess everything is all relative. You've got to sacrifice something if you want to save some weight. They have a 101 millimeter last, which is the width of the inside of the shell. And again, I think that's pretty based on a size 26 and a half boot shell. And 101 is probably right in the middle range in terms of width of boots, like really narrow boots will typically have a 98, 99 last, wide boots will come with a 104 last. Theoretically they can be stretched as well, but I haven't had them moulded myself so I don't know how well they can actually push them out if you need them to be stretched. But I've got a pretty wide and certainly very high volume foot, high arch, and so far they feel very comfortable, very spacious compared to my Freedom SLs, which again, normally have a 101 millimeter last. But yeah, these are definitely a lot wider for the same size boot. So if you have wide feet or high arches like me, then it's definitely a viable option for you. They have a pretty huge 62 degrees range of motion in one in mortal mode, which maybe that's very normal for a Schemo boot, but I'm used to a free tour boot, which my Scarpa Freedom SLs, I've only got 27 degrees, which is always fat enough to me anyway, so yeah, 62 degrees is huge in comparison. It certainly makes for a very, very smooth walk. I guess it gives you a longer stride, which is nice, especially on the flat. So the boots are made with a Gorilla Mid shell, which is not something I've ever heard of, but apparently it's a really lightweight material which helps them keep the weight down and they have a ultralon liner which again is something I hadn't heard of but it's a really nice soft liner it can be thermo molded but I haven't bothered and it doesn't feel like I really need to because it is nice and soft and just a, a couple of big days on the hill wearing them and they should mold to my feet anyway and then they've got a Vibram mountain sole which is pretty much standard of all touring boots these days So they have Dynafit tech binding pin inserts and they're also compatible with Marker Kingpin style bindings, so a traditional alpine heel and a pin toe. But they're not compatible with the 
more traditional alpine frame binding or indeed a full-on alpine ski binding is although they've got a, a toe welt that's only for crampon use it's not really big enough to fit into a proper alpine ski binding although i'm sure some people have tried but yeah definitely wouldn't recommend it So I've done maybe about 1500 meters of vertical today, which is tiny by Chamonix standards, but it's not bad for starting for the boots. And yeah, first impressions on the uphill was they're incredibly comfortable, not had any pain at all. And given that it's actually quite a technical skin up, up where I've come up on Grand Monte, lots of off camera sections, even some icy moguls, you're on your edges a lot. That's the kind of terrain where often in my other boots I've been a lot of pain because the all pressure's on the side of your foot. But yeah, not with these, which is great. Um, the only minor criticism is that the buckle on the foot tends to pop open every now and again, which is not a big deal, but I guess you need to just play around with the tension and try and get that right. But yeah, overall for the up, definitely a, definitely a really nice boot. Now for the down. So yeah, uh, see if uh, see how they compare to a stiffer, beefier, through tall boot on both off-piste and on-piste. 